in uh, response to the wildfire that's come through Waterton and decimated the land there. You can see somewhere behind me. Um, it destroyed 11 kilometers of our mainline uh, power coming into Waterton town here. We are basically trying to cram a project that would normally take us somewhere in a region of eight to nine months in a period of 21 days. We are basically ordering material as we had been designing the system getting it back to the to the people uh, um, to, that are supporting us, uh, getting our stuff done within 14 hours. Yeah, it's an incredible team effort. I think Waterton was a great example of how, as an organization, uh, we can come together as, as one team. Um, what we saw at Waterton um, was, was somewhat like we've seen in the flood in 2013, where we had a provincial uh, EOC established and they were taking control of the area. And we quickly found our way uh, to not only communicate uh, with them, but organize ourselves to, to meet those demands. And um, I think it was just a really good example of um, how responsive Fortis can be in an event like that. In many cases, uh, most residents were evacuated from their homes. And um, for us, that caused us a bit of a challenge as well because we had to stand down uh, for the first day uh, as we weren't allowed in the same uh, area as well and uh, uh, we had to manage the safety of our employees at the same time. But uh, what it did allow for us uh, was to create a bit of a, a different way to communicate with our customers and we, as quickly as information was available to us and our ability to move into the area, uh, we established those communications uh, out to customers and through the EOCs so that customers were informed on a regular basis um, throughout the event. You know, like any event where we uh, have a large loss of infrastructure like we did in the wildfires in Waterton, I mean, naturally you have the operations staff, PLTs. The projects team had a bigger component in this in, in rebuilding a, a main line into town forestry, supply chain, um, everybody was involved um, to make this thing happen and make it happen quickly. I don't know that everybody can appreciate how much effort's actually happening. And I think the really neat thing for me as I watch this thing uh, unfold is I think many of the parties were finding a way to get connected to the customer. And uh, I thought that was a really neat thing during this event. Everybody could see their way to uh, make it better for the customers that were impacted by this. And uh, it was just really impressive. I'm pleased to say that the town of Waterton actually survived the fire. I, I have to say, as I said, it was emotional. I had, I had residents hugging me uh, and thanking me. Um, and even uh, when I was walking along the power line there, some of which we see that's been destroyed behind me, um, those, they, we, they were applauding us and, and uh, you know, ex expressing their gratitude to us. It, it, was, it was just incredible, absolutely incredible. It's, it's amazing when you reflect uh, all the activities that were happening and um, really just a big thank you to all the Fortis staff that stepped up and participated and uh, were available. There was a lot of long hours over those uh, few days and the willingness and effort, uh, it was there all the time and incredibly impressed by our people.